What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the fourth beta of macOS Sonoma, and for all the public beta, it is the second beta for you. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of the fourth beta of macOS Sonoma, along with why you probably do not want to update to this version. The weather app has a couple of changes in here, so if we were to go down into here and look for the averages part, you're going to see that they change this up a little bit. Before it would say today's high and then average high. Now it just says today and average and the numbers were right here instead of right here. So just a little minor change that Apple has made inside of the weather app. If you're going to click inside of here, you're going to notice that things changed up a little bit in here as well. They updated this graph a little bit and a lot of things in here are just a lot more updated. Same with pre precipitation charts. And it's just really nice that Apple has updated this quite a bit to add a lot more information. The next change is inside of system settings. If we were to go to our Apple ID right here, you're going to notice some brand new glyph icons right here. They're extremely nice, a little bit darker, but they look nice nonetheless. Next thing is still inside of system settings. If we were to go down to privacy and security and then scroll down to sensitive content warning and turn this on, which I probably should have this on, you're going to notice a brand new thing right here for contacts. Before it was only for messages, but now it is for contacts as well. So it's probably going to be for like contact images and contact posters. I'm not sure. I really don't want to test this feature out. The next one has to do with the clock. So you're going to notice the clock is a lot more white inside of beta 4. And if I were to just do touch ID and then maybe make do a lighter screensaver, you're going to notice that it's just a lot more brighter now and it's a lot more readable. Unlike in beta 3, 2, and 1 where it was just really transparent, it's just really nice. Apple has changed this clock and it's a lot more readable in every single scenario. Now the next one is inside the Apple Music app. Surprisingly, we got a little change in here which I was not expecting at all. I thought Apple was just forgot about the Mac Music app, but we have a little change in here where if we were to go into a song, click on the three dots, and if it's in our playlist, we have a new hover over here that says show in playlist. And we're able to choose whatever playlist we want right here. As long as it is in the playlist, it will just show if it's in the playlist or not. And another change inside of Mac OS Sonoma is that if you were to edit a widget and you had the widget menu open, it now overlaps right here, whereas before this UI, the widget adding UI, would overlap instead. Just really nice that Apple has fixed this. However, it looks like Apple forgot to make the minus button overlap. So hopefully Apple fixes this in the next beta. Another change is if we were to move a widget onto the desktop icons, they move a lot slower now. It's not that they are crazy anymore. The apps are just moving around. They no longer just want to stay away from the widget forever. And another change is that if you have widgets right here, the widgets will now snap with the widgets over here just to give it a much more, just to give it a much better look. Another change inside of macOS Sonoma, inside of Safari, if you were to go up here to your profiles and tab groups, you're gonna see that new personal window is now separated from the profiles that you have created. It's now a new empty tab group right here. It's in its own little group right here. And along with that, they did some rewording right here. Whereas before it used to say new YouTube window, new school window, and now just says switch to YouTube window and switch to school window. And it looks like it just switches it instead of makes a new window. If I were to have something open in the tab group, they actually made it so it just says new school window up here, new personal window, and new YouTube window right here. It goes back to the old wording, which makes sense because I think if you have it like this, you're going to want to just switch to it. You don't want it to open up in a new window, which makes sense. And another change is that if you were inside of a profile, you're going to notice that the profiles just stay how it is right here, and you just need to switch to the new personal window. I think that's a good change to be honest, but I could see how it would be annoying to some. Now that's basically what we have inside of macOS Sonoma. Now we're going to talk about a pretty major issue on why you do not want to install Sonoma on your main device slash volume. If you go to Mac Rumors, you're probably going to find this post somewhere on the front page saying that Sonoma Beta 4 is not installing properly for some users. This is a very serious issue and probably why you should not install on your main device. So if you have Apple Silicon, you're pretty much affected. Intel, probably not so much, although it could be affected, it's just that not many Intel Macs are in circulation anymore. But Sonoma Beta 4 has installed properly for me. So basically what happens if it doesn't install properly is the screen goes completely black and the only thing you can do is move your cursor around. Pretty serious stuff. Probably why you don't want to install Sonoma Beta 4 
work. That's probably why you want to hold off until beta 5, but we have a couple of other little teeny issues inside of Sonoma. So if I were to send a message right here, I'm just going to send some random text to my friend and then I'll unset it later. You're going to notice that the, that the bubble goes completely black. You can't see the text until it actually gets right here. Pretty annoying. You'll just see the text just does that. Really annoying stuff. Hopefully Apple fixes this in the next beta. And up here, when where it says new contact photo available, you're going to notice the update contact button is completely black. This is very likely not a feature. It's pretty much a bug. And issues that we still do have is the spotlight. Now, this probably is a bug. It probably isn't final, even though I like this design a lot. But if I were to have a search result in here, you see, you see it goes back to normal until we remove all the text. And it's just not really nice. But if this was the final design and the entire spotlight and was consistent across anything it would look a lot better now we have a result issue all the time in the previous beta i had problems with the home widget and it just wouldn't work at all but now it works as expected inside a beta 4. however i still have the issue where the widgets take a very long time to load especially if they're on the iphone but it looks like a lot of the widget issues have been fixed now a lot of people have been reporting that they have also been fixed inside of ios beta 4 so if you're into those, you might want to look out for that. And we have a little bug fix with the launch pad. So before, if you were to just do this with the arrow keys, they, it would open up every single app that you hover over, whereas now you have to press the enter key in order to open up the new app. Another bug fix is inside of the messages app. You can notice that the stickers button is finally fixed here. It used to be very huge, very weird, but it's been fixed. Those are all the changes, bugs, and bug fixes inside of macOS Sonoma. A pretty big update, bigger than beta 3. However, you may not want to update to this version as it is very buggy. But thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. If you'd like to see iOS, you can click on it right here. And tomorrow, I'll be having the watchOS video out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!